Anyway, today we're going to start talking about Unit 7.3, and so far we've learned how to solve systems by using graphing and by substitution. Today I'm going to teach you my favorite, and that is elimination. So I want you to open up your books to section 7.3, okay? And that is actually on page 444. Now our essential question is today is, how do we use addition and subtraction to solve a system? And of course we know we're talking about a system of equations, okay? So today I'm just going to show you that. So we're actually going to spend 7.3 and 7.4 on elimination. Uh, what we're going to do today is really pretty easy. So, let's go ahead and start off by looking at example one. In example one, I have two equations. We have 2x plus 3y equals 11, and negative 2x plus 5y equals 13. All I'm going to do with this one is we're just going to draw a line. Notice how we have a positive 2x and a negative 3x. We're just going to cancel it. We're going to add the y's together, 8y, and then add the 11 and 13 together, 24. And then, of course, we know what we're going to do. We're going to divide both sides by 8, and y is equal to 3. And then, of course, I'm going to solve for x by substituting the y into either equation and solving for x. So, 2x plus 3 times 3 equals 11. 2x plus 9 equals 11. We're going to subtract that 9, 2x equals 2, and x equals 1. So we see here x equals 1 and y equals 3. And I can test that. 2 times 2 is 2, plus 3 times 3 is 9, 2 plus 9 is 11. Okay, so we see how to solve that. And of course that one's easy because it's already set up with a positive 2x and a negative 3x, and it makes it easy to eliminate. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to example 2 on page 445. Here I have 4x plus 3y equals 2 and 5x plus 3y equals negative 2. Now notice, both of our y's are, are 3, have a value of 3, but they're both positive. So if I add them, I'm going to get a 6y. It would make it nice and convenient if that were a negative 3y, so it would cancel, and then I can solve for x, just like I solved for y over here. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to multiply everything in this bottom equation by negative 1. So that will make it 4x plus 3y equals 2, and negative 5x, negative 3y equals positive 2. That simple. So now, that would be equal to negative x, the y's will cancel, equals 4, or x equals negative 4. And now, I'm simply just going to sum in that x into either equation. 4 times negative 4 plus 3y equals 2. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, plus 3y equals 2. We're going to add the 16 to both sides. So we get 3y equals 18, divide by 3, and y equals 6. So, x is negative 4, y is 6. And it's just, just that simple. Okay, so take a moment and look at that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at example 3. I'm just going to erase example one. I'll leave two up for now. And here we see in example three that I have 8x minus 4y equals negative 4. And then we have 4y equals 3x plus 14. Now notice my terms are all kind of jumbled up. But what I can do is I can arrange the terms to where they're in order. So what I need to do is simply just bring the 3x over here 
with the 4y. And we're going to accomplish that by subtracting 3x from both sides. So what we're going to have is we will have negative 3x plus 4y equals positive 14. So all I did is brought the x over here with y. Now I'm going to bring down my other equation, 8x minus 4y equals negative 4. Now, we have a negative positive 4, so those will just cancel. Bring down your 5x, negative 4 equals 14, that would be 10. Divide everything by 5, and x equals 2. And then we're just going to sub that into either equation. So I'll take the top one, 8 times 2 minus 4y equals negative 4. 8 times 2 is 16 minus 4y equals negative 4. We're going to subtract that 16 from both sides. Negative 4y equals negative 20. We're going to divide everything by negative 4. And y equals 5. So our answer is 2 and 5. Okay? And that's all we're really going to cover. Tomorrow in class, which would be Thursday if you're watching this on Wednesday, we're going to go ahead and work on the guided practice in groups just to make sure that we have it understood and that you have a good grasp of it. I hope you have a nice evening. Thanks.